Hello, people of Twitch and the internet and YouTube. Um, yeah, so we're just going to be finishing up some projects. I'm working on some new projects today. I started these really pretty cards. They're kind of mixed media because I printed these out and then cut them out. Um, and then there's a beautiful little poem in, the, in there. So... Beautiful little poem that also got printed. Um, and then it's here to the inside of the card. So then we cut out some inserts to put in inside so they'll be nice and pretty looking. And so we're just going to finish that up right now. Might as well get started. And for these, I use a double-sided tape, but for these, I'm going to use rubber cement so I can reposition them a little bit better if they're not quite centered right. Rubber cement does have a good, good, good amount of time where it's still wet, so you can reposition stuff if needed. And you'll notice this cardstock, it's cardstock and it's textured, kind of like linen, although I don't think it's actual linen. And uh, let's see if I can't get that to stay up there. There we go. That's just about perfect. Let's see if I can find the paper towels. I need the paper towels. To finish up the edging of this. My boyfriend is grabbing them for me. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> So, and that's one of my kitties. Gotta love them. They're very sweet. They just got fed their daily dose of wet food. And now Angel is begging for treats. Yeah, see, that looks, that looks pretty good. Matches the outside, matches the inside. I'm bumping the camera. Sorry about that, guys. Just putting some rubber cement down on the edges of this cardstock. Let's see here. There. There. That one sounds. We only have five of these to do, and then we're making, I think, about 20 more cards uh, with the snowflakes, but it's going to be a slightly different design. So I'm kind of excited about those. Rub off the extra rubber cement here. Oh yeah, so I was going to tell you more about this cardstock. So all the cardstock in this pack is double-sided. So you get to have your choice of a bunch of different colors. I'll see if I can't find the name of it. I picked it up at Joann's, so 
fairly easy to get it. They were having a massive paper sale. So I thought that was pretty cool. be a little bit more careful. Looks like the rubber cement discolored the corner of this paper just a tad. There. Get all the extra rubber cement bits off. Different rubber cement. more of these to go. Yeah, so this project is fairly fast today. Just getting these finished. I did some of this at home. And they are a custom order, so... Need to get these finished. I also have an order for a jingle bell bracelet and a necklace. I need to get those done too. Kind of hoping to get all that done today. There we are. Oh, one extra square just in case, so. Get this all done. So I'm sorry if I'm not as animated as usual. I'm honestly not feeling very well today. But that's okay. Still wanting to make stuff, so. Figured I'd pop on here for at least a little while, even if it's not the full two hours. My iron is a little low, so. That's making me extra tired. <clears throat> there we go. So there's those. I'm just going to close this up for now. Get the extra number cement off my fingers. So now we're going to stamp with a snowflake like right here. Or should we put it right there? I think we're going to put it in this bottom corner. I just have to decide what snowflake to use. going to be one of these two. This one is obviously a little bit bigger. Maybe maybe this one would look better. Let's see if I can't get my stamps out. I 
see if I can find them first. <clears throat> there we go. So I was going to do this one in a blue. It might end up looking purple on the paper because of the pink paper, but we'll see. Purple would be okay too. I'm just going to brush this right across. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It's a fairly light color though. I'm going to set that aside. There. Just getting these all done. My boyfriend is cutting some more of those little squares for me, so for some a different set of cards I'm doing. So I can work on this and not be trying to cut paper. He's a big help. So you may hear the paper cutter in the background. Here. What do I do with the ink pads? I wonder. Oh, here they are. Yep, just a little out of it today. I apologize. I'm probably going to be misplacing and losing stuff a lot. But we'll see. Hopefully I'm not. <laughs> I hope you all had a good turkey day. I might do a bonus stream this weekend. Hopefully. Some different rubber stamp cleaner. I'm not sure what I do with my other rubber stamp cleaner. Whoa. That just came right out of there. Yeah, that's fine. This is rubber stampede. See? Rubber stampede. I'm not sure where I got this one. It's older than my other one. my little squares and he also cut out little strips of vellum for me this stuff is very very pretty I don't know if you can see the shimmer and shine on it it's got like a pearlescent coating so it's it's very pretty Dropping stuff all over here. Let's see, got a bunch more snowflake paper. I also got some Santa paper, and I'm not sure I want to use it. It's really super cute, though. I'll show it to you. Just not sure it will look as good with the idea I have in mind. It's pretty cute. 
too if I can't write this for you. There. It's pretty adorable. I'm going to start with one sheet of the snowflake paper. Grab some cards and envelopes. I need to open them and start folding. Let's see here. I only need to fold twenty of these today. So that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Almost grabbed the exact amount I needed. Twenty. So we're going to make 20 more cards. They should be beautiful. And get these folded. Folded and stacked. There we go. So these come pre creased, pre pre scored. You have a little line there, so it's just really easy to fold them in half. It makes it super easy to get going and make cards. Almost done. So yeah, we'll probably fly through these today. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay. Set these aside. Get ready to rubber smoke these to the paper. There. Yeah, I wonder how many of y'all are Black Friday shopping. It was pretty crazy getting into my studio today. Traffic was kind of a bear. It's 
a little rubber cement on my. There we go. Thought I cut all the extra off. Oh, I guess not. Get this all. Put this adhesive on there. this around Maybe with a hairball. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I just wanted to make sure my cat was okay. So, yep. I also didn't want him to have a hairball on camera because that's really gross. Really disgusting. So, poor kitty. There we are. So, yep, just to recap, we're just rubber cementing some cards onto paper. We're going to be making some really neat, some more neat Christmas cards. This one didn't quite fold right. Oh. 
There we go. Anyway, I hope you all had a great turkey day. I had uh, a couple Thanksgivings. One with my boyfriend's family and then uh, a couple parties, I guess it would be a better way to put it. Had one with my boyfriend's family on Wednesday night, and then one with uh, my grandma, and she is like 90, <laughs> so it's, she's she just always cracks me up. So, I love my grandma. We used to make all sorts of neat things together, like uh. She taught me how to embroider, so that's kind of exciting, and she uh, taught me how to etch glass, or mirrors, actually it was a mirror that we etched. Oh gosh, and she taught me how to do sewing. All sorts of neat stuff. My grandma used to paint on everything she could get her hands on, like old saw blades and uh, dried out fungus and It was pretty cool. Her and my grandpa were farmers. They had a dairy farm. Way back when. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. There we go. I'll get the sides. So I'm going to try to do this pretty quick because I want to get to the stamping part of this. fairly quickly. I'm just going to kind of rock it through doing these, adhering these cards to the paper. So these are actually a new design, a different design than the ones I've been doing before even though the paper is the same and the stamps are the same. So I think that's kind of exciting. Let that dry over there. Grab another sheet of paper. So yeah, I have uh, another custom jewelry order too, which I'm really excited about. It's a kitty bracelet. So kind of excited about it. It should be fun to make and pull together. And I've actually got to get that made in a hurry because I believe her birthday is coming right up. I can't write my bracelet real quick. Here we go. Yeah, 
Anyway, so I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. We're having a great holiday weekend and not too stressed out about stuff. Not too stressed out. That'll be great. There's, oh, I always get bummed out during winter. I have seasonal affective disorder, so. And it's not so much winter as it's all the clouds. Getting enough sun during this time of year is kind of hard in Wisconsin. So if you're up north, be sure to get out there when it's sunny. You don't want to get all bummed out. It's cloudy today. I believe it's raining out there. And it's dark because the clock's changed. So... I believe I only have to do two more of these after I get the sheet filled up. So we are making good progress today. I want to get to the fun stuff. Making cards is kind of therapeutic, but even this, even the adhering of these cards to the paper. Oh. There we go. However, I like stamping and designing them a little bit better than just adhering paper to them, so. Another sheet of paper. I think for sure we only needed like, oh shoot, we had 92 and I need 107 for sure. So. Oh, that's right. I was thinking about giving away a card today. I don't have them with me, unfortunately. So maybe Cyber Monday we can do that. And if you win, I can mail it to you with a little note in it, or I can uh, or I can mail it to you without a little note in it, like blank, and you can gift it to somebody. Or I can mail it to whoever you want me to mail it to. I, I, that either, any of those options would be fine. And if you want to support these card making adventures, you can go to my Patreon and sign up for the holiday card uh, level, which is $5, and that includes a card wherever you want it sent, and shipping domestic and or international. So, which I think is, is, is a lot of fun. And that's a lot of fun. I was contemplating putting like bookmarks or something in the cards, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. One year I cut out 
like 150 star ornaments out of paper and included those, but I'm not going to have time to do that this year either, unfortunately. I don't know if those cards just, I don't think the cards were as complex as they were this year when I was doing the star ornaments. Yep, iron deficiencies are not fun. I've been tired like all the time. And that is probably why. <laughs> I don't know why it's hitting me so hard today, though. Usually I wake up and have a small cup of coffee and I'm good to go, but mostly. But today, not so much. Getting this rubber cement on there. One more sheet after this one. And then we can go on to oh shoot. Just put that in there. The extra rubber cement off of there. Yeah, so I may have some extra cards from this year for next year, which is just fine. But we'll see. We'll see how many cards I can give away. So how are we doing on time? I have a bunch of stuff I want to get made today. I'd like to work on cards and jewelry stuff and cat toys. I don't think I'll have time to do all of it, unfortunately. on camera, huh? Yeah, so I wouldn't say we did any Black Friday shopping, not even online, which is the way to do it, I think. We did run to a craft store to pick up some more paper and cards, blank card stock. Why is there only two of those? Did I? Oh, shoot. 
I did it again. I did this once before. I'll have to... <coughs> See, I warned you guys I was tired, right? You just put that right on top of another card. It's like, why do I only have two cards left? But it hadn't dried yet completely, so I don't think it's a big deal. Put all the extra immersement off that card. Yeah, it just rolls right off, so. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's not do that again. We're almost done. So busy talking to you guys, I'm forgetting to... doing the wrong thing. That's okay. It wasn't a big deal. It's one of the other reasons I love rubber cement. Had it dried completely so it wasn't a big deal to just take it right off of there. last one. I'll have to show you the other one I did that with. It's going to be like a, it's going to be a fancy snowflake card. Let's see if I can't find it. It's on my table somewhere. Now we've got to cut all those cards out. Let's start with the one on the bottom because it's dried the most. Just cutting these out. Yep, so I'd like to mail these cards by the 1st of December. Some of them are going internationally. So 
So. And I would like them to get there before the holiday hits. So. And it can take a while for holiday mail to go anywhere. Come starting in December, so. I just hope none of them get lost. I think that would be a shame. So I'll be sure to use like permanent ink on the fronts of the cards. I had written a bunch of letters and stuck them in the mailbox and it rained. And all the letters in the mailbox were ruined. Which I thought was just, it was heartbreaking. The ink wasn't permanent on, that I used on the, uh, used on those letters, so. Like, well, there was those stamps and letters and. There's a kitty. She's talking. That's LAC. You might be able to start differentiating my cats if you listen to my channel long enough. Hi, cutie. She's purring. Hi. I'm going to reach down and give her a pat. Reach down and give the kitty a pet. So we're almost done cutting out these cards, too. And get to some fun stuff. So 16 of them so far. We have four more left to cut out. I'm saving the middles of the, those papers because they almost fit one of these cards. So I may be able to make it work to make some more snowflake cards next year with some of those saved middle pieces of paper. is all done. 
That's 20 cards. Only took an hour. So let's see here. What are we doing next? I think we're going to start stamping the snowflakes. And then what color should we do these? We've done purple and blue. No, actually, I don't think we've done purple and pink. I don't think we've done any blue snowflakes. We're probably going to do some blue snowflakes this time. I need the big, big stamp. Should I take that back? I think we did a few blue ones. get these stamped oh that's right I have one rainbow snowflake I'm gonna use that with this, this card design I think yeah I did rainbow trees and green trees and a bunch of different colored snowflakes on these cards. I did some Santa cards. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun making cards this year. Last year, unfortunately, I didn't have time to make them. I'll probably round the corners on these two. I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera tonight. I think we're going to have one square left over. Because I'm going to use a rainbow snowflake on these as well. I also picked up some glitter glue and I thought putting a piece, not a piece, but a dot of the glitter glue in the corners of the snowflakes might look pretty cool. So we're going to try that on one of these two. There we go. Almost done with the snowflakes. Of course, we're going to have to do the insides of these cards too, but. I don't know if we're going to quite get to that tonight. I just kind of want to get the fronts done.
So I don't think I have any double-sided tape with me tonight, so that's maybe the end of the work I'm doing on the cards. But then I can get the beading stuff out. Oh shoot, I did 20 of those anyway. My little memento ink pads out. Alright, clean the stamp. I'm gonna see if I can't find my other stamp cleaner. It's gotta be in here somewhere. It is! Nope, that's clear embossing ink. Must have lost it on my desk somewhere. pretty clean. Okay, move that over. These out of the way. Well, I'll be right back while I get my uh, jewelry stuff set up. Alright, be right back.
Hello, I'm back. Getting ready to give the cat some pets. That's why she's meowing. I'm going to start by stringing up some of these Jingle Bell bracelets again. I haven't done those in a while and I want to make about 30 of them for the fair I'm doing on December 1st. And I think I've only got nine made so far, so I have have quite a bit of work to do. I'm getting those finished. Let's see, I should... The ones I measured before were pretty good as far as size. They're about five inches. Oh, shoot. There we go. Right here. I use different spacer beads. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two medium ones and three bags. Let's see here. not real good at making things completely random which is why even these little jingle bell bracelets have a pattern to them I imagine I probably will start making them a little bit more random after I run out of beads to do uh, the patterns with but Got my bead here. That is also Allie C. She's being very talkative today. Take a look here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know. Swing this a little bit farther down. I'm going to do a really tiny one on this piece of cord right here. surgeon's not here. So it'll be nice and strong and then I will glue it too. So this one might be a little bit smaller than the other ones because I didn't use any medium sized bells on it. Just small ones and big ones. Let's 
see. I've got this. That one needs to be glued yet. Got to remember these are for children, though. I'll be making some for adults, too, just not today. Gold. Green. Oh. I got my bead again. It's hard making jewelry when you're tired. If you're tired a lot of the time and aren't sleeping well, yeah, it's just no good. That's okay. We'll get it sorted. That's better. So as you can hear, there's actually a jingle. I think that's just the coolest. Actual jingle bells. We'll do red, green, gold again. What is this? A little piece of paper. Throw that away. I'm gonna move these over so I have room to tie a knot. On the other end. the hemostats. I'll make sure these are nice and tight there. I'll we'll do a surgeon's knot again. side. So I will be using GS Hypo Cement to glue this knot. Glue the knots on these. This is a really tiny little bracelet. It's probably four inches. So this one's five. So those are nice and small for children. I'm just putting the hemostat there so the bells don't go all the way down to where I'm going to cut the 
since then I'll have to move the bells all over again and There we go. It's a medium sized bell. Here's a tiny one. Should we do? I'll we'll do an all gold one. There we are. Yeah, so designing jewelry for kids can be a lot of fun. <clears throat> like uh, other stuff, though, you don't want them to be putting the, this in their mouth. So for real little kids, it's probably not a good idea to get them jewelry. I'd say five and up could probably wear these bracelets. So I need to make these in a variety of sizes and with different colors and should be a lot of fun. Let's see, there we are. A mat full of a bead mat full of jingle bells and some beads. that surgeon's knot. Let's see if we can get this a little bit tighter. There we go. Yeah. Pull that nice and tight, but still so it has give in it because it is a stretchy bracelet. That's pretty good. Need to be a bracelet. Oh, let's see. Let's make some more of these. I'm going to do the same thing with the hemostats. Move it right here. So the beads don't go all the way down to the spool of stretchy cord. There we go. 
can go like this another tiny one. Should use these though. Yep, as far as I know, there are three sizes of belt in this pile. Small, medium, and large. Um, and the amount of the colors varies. I don't think they gave me an even color, even number of color each or anything like that. Just a true assortment. Jingle, jingle. Now we do another. That's a medium size one. Here's a small one. A small red and a small green. Okay, I'm going to tie this one off. These go pretty fast once you get going. Get everything laid out and whatnot. See that surgeon's not. Make sure that's stretchy enough. It is. Make sure the knot's good and tight, even though I'm going to glue it. So we made four of these stretchy bracelets so far. Those are the tiny, tiny ones. Okay, we're going to do one more bracelet, and then I'm going to call the stream for the night. And then I'll see you all on Monday, weather permitting. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys about a sale I'm running in my shop. It's zenithjadecreations.com. And I've got all sorts of cool jewelry in there. So you can... Go and take a look if you'd like to. Um, anyway, the sale, I believe I have everything marked down to 50% off except for miscellaneous add-ons. Um, which includes a shipping upgrade, like necklace, bracelet, extenders, etc, etc. So... You can go to my shop, and I believe the code is Cyber Monday 18. I just, I'll double check that before I let you go. And I'll put it in the description of my Twitch stream too after I get done here. So. Yeah, it should be a good time. 50% off is a really rad deal on high-quality jewelry. It's uh, mostly silver-plated, um, real gemstones on most of it, some Swarovski crystal, which is my favorite crystal to work with. 
So if you wanted to, you can take a look-see and see if there's anything you want. And then you can get it on the cheap. So, and that lasts until Christmas, I suppose. And it will start today. <laughs> I meant to post about it in my on my social media accounts last night at midnight, but I'm I've been feeling weird. So So yeah, enjoy that sale while it's going on. Get this bracelet done. One more teeny tiny bracelet. that knot is good and tight. Yep, it is. All right. Well, that's it. I'll see you guys on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend. If you go shopping and driving around, be safe, and I'll see you then. All right. Bye for now.